Hi, I'm Scott. I'm a Quiet Place fan. Hi, I'm Senthal, and I'm a Bird Box fan. So the two of us have decided, since we disagree, we're going to start watching as many horror movies as we can and come up with a new way of rate them. Come join us. Good afternoon, Scott. How are you today? Hey, Synthal, I'm doing great. How are you doing? Fantastic. Uh, the movie we're going to talk about today is a movie called Final Prayer. It was released in 2013 by a director and who also wrote it. His name is Elliot Goldner. Um, what did you think? What was your first impressions? So here's here was my first impressions of this. Is I actually there was a part of me that enjoyed this. I, I like uh, movies that are about the supernatural, right? A haunting, and basically this the whole premise of this movie is there is a priest at a church who believes that there is a miraculous happening taking place, right? And so the Vatican sends out a squad of priest to actually to do an investigation of this church and as we're going through there's some very interesting parts to it you know you have the movement of things you have weird noises and everything and I thought they did a really good job with that synthole but it's once I'm laughing just because once we get to the end it really loses me quite a bit but up until that ending I I actually enjoyed the film I actually uh, thought some of the acting was pretty well done. The initial priest, the one who calls in, uh, did this really, I, I thought, did a phenomenal job of, hey, what are you talking about? Of course, this is a miracle, right? Um, and then something happens to him that I won't disclose here, but it's pretty tragic. Um, but the entire time, I, I feel like, hey, you know, this guy didn't put this on. You know, this is, he really believes this is a miracle. And as we move through, we, we find that it's really not a miracle, but something worse than a miracle. It, it's a very low budget paranormal activity, which in yes. itself was not exactly, uh, you know, a high budget movie. And so they take the same kind of found footage approach to, uh, to clearly a, a church driven investigation of supposedly an old haunted house. And so I thought from that perspective, the, the paranormal activity, supernatural, very subtle scares without yes. overt gore uh, was very effective. I thought the performance was really convincing. Um, as we were talking before we started recording, there are elements in there, stupid horror movie elements. <laughs> uh, you know, the old classic, if a house is telling you to get out, you get the heck out. That didn't happen in here, but um, the there are scenes where, without giving anything away, um, there are scenes where the one of the priests is going back to this haunted church in the middle of the night with nobody around him, no one to help him, which, okay, I understand that he doesn't probably believe in a supernatural, but I would have probably expected him to be a little more cautious. The ending was a little bit different. Uh, I did not see the ending. Um, I, I, I think our conversation was he thought the ending was, was a result of stupid actions from the actors, from the characters, right? Yeah, well, so here's the thing. I actually went for the whole, the priest going back at night, right? They're priests. They're trying to figure out whether or not- They're not they're, afraid. Yeah, they're not afraid. They, you know, they, they're trying to figure out if this is real or not. You know, did this priest set everything up? So I totally bought into that. I even buy into the point when they go down the narrow stairs up underneath the church and end up in a bunch of old cave systems. And that's where it completely freaking loses me, Synthal, because here's the reality of that. Once you get to a certain point, I'm the guy who's going to go, hey, hey uh, I'm calling these. <laughs> Let me get some spelunkers to come save you. Um, and it, and it really loses me. Now, where it really lost me, and I don't want to give too much away, but at the end, let's just say it turns out to be a, a basic body function that they're crawling into. Um, and I'm like, well, how? I don't get it. I don't, you know, I, I well, didn't I'll tell you that uh, I can totally understand your, your viewpoint, but to me, um, because they're both priests, and he doesn't exactly believe in the supernatural, despite all he sees around him and what he's seen so far, he's a skeptic. Uh, and so as a result, I could see it that he would 
be willing to do whatever it took to try to rescue his priest, uh, fellow priest. So that's, I thought, while it's a bit far-fetched, I could see a scenario where that would happen. I, okay, okay. I would not abandon you in some dark hole in, in the church. I just want to let you know. I would crawl down there and rescue you. Okay, so here's the thing, Synthal, and I appreciate that. But if you saw me, so, I'm, okay, I am going to talk yes. a little bit about this. Yeah. Okay, so if you crawl into a tunnel system and you see me standing in the dark staring at you and you're like, Hey, dude, right here's the way out. Why are you and, going the other way? And you and I just <laughs> disappear. You're going to go. You're telling me you're going. I oh, am. Yeah, yeah, it's going to I'm going to keep. Falling. No, you're going to go. No, it's, I, I would agree. I agree. I, I'm going back out this way. Hey, uh, Synthol, <laughs> if you want out, you just follow the tunnel behind me here, buddy. I'm Exit right this way. Follow my voice. Follow my voice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because. Again, like I said, I actually, you know what, I, I watched the film and I enjoyed it for what it was, <laughs> Paranormal Activity, Haunted Church. I like those things. I like the little jump scares. I know people get tired of it, but you know, the black cat jumping out, it gets you every time. Um, and I know they're overused and, and some of these were overused, but really I enjoyed it up into that point. I will say this, Synthal, I agree with you on the ending. It was not what I expected it to be. And so it kind of salvaged itself a little bit from this, you know, from the Geico commercial, let's go hide in the cemetery. Um, the ending was truly bizarre. And, and, and for that reason, I would tell people to go watch the film just because you're gonna end up going, what the F just happened? I agree, this is a, a micro budget movie. And as a micro budget movie, uh, I thought it was really well done. Um, there are definitely some questionable elements questionable decisions. I mean, you see a bunch of, of skeletons and skulls that you're probably going to question your decision to continue moving forward. Yeah, and an <laughs> altar. Yeah, you, you kind of start going, well, maybe, hey, <laughs> this could be. Hey, it's could not work. all he, he looks like. Yet. So yeah, I agree. Uh, it's a good movie. It's uh, for a micro budget movie, it's well done. Um, there's some questionable decisions from a story perspective, but I would, I'd recommend it. Sure. Yeah, I would agree with you, Synthal. I mean, I, I would sit down, I'd watch it again with a friend, just because, I mean, again, it was a well-done paranormal activity kind of flick. Yeah, these are the ones that excite me because they're, how do you build, we were talking about this earlier on a different topic, how do you build tension uh, without gore and, yes. uh, you know, Jason chasing you down? And that's, I think, the real challenge for some of these micro-budget um, directors. Well, I've enjoyed this conversation with you once again, Scott. Thank you for taking the time. All right, simple. Talk to you next week. Talk to you next week.